In this video, we're going to take a look at how you run diagnostics on an Apple Macintosh computer. If your computer starts to misbehave and you suspect that the issue is related to hardware, you can use Apple Diagnostics to help determine which hardware component might be causing an issue. To initiate Apple Diagnostics, your computer needs to be powered down and all external devices except for the power, keyboard and mouse disconnected from the computer. As soon as you turn on the computer, you need to press and hold down the D key on the keyboard. You need to keep the D key held down until you see the screen asking for you to choose a language. After selecting the language you wish to use from the list, a diagnostic test will start and a progress bar will be displayed as the computer's hardware is checked. This process can take roughly two to five minutes. Apple Diagnostics will only check for internal hardware problems, such as issues with the logic board, faulty memory or failing wireless components. It will not check external hardware components, such as USB or Firewire devices, or any non-Apple devices, such as PCI cards. If at the end of the diagnostic test an issue is found, the issue is summarised and you're provided with a reference code for that problem. If you have AppleCare, you should provide this information to the Apple support engineer that you are logging your support call with. If you intend to fix the issue yourself, you now have a better understanding of which components need to be repaired or replaced. As no issues were found in this test, I can either switch off the computer or restart it. As I know that my problem is not related to the computer's hardware, I have narrowed down the issue to being one of either a faulty piece of external hardware or an issue in software.